Hi guys, it's it's me, Billy the Wizard, and I'm here inside Video Game Wizard store to let you all know that I know there's a saying that goes around that you that you just can't you just cannot lightning doesn't strike twice. So like when Joshi won $1,000 on the lottery, and then the week later, he won 5000 on the lottery. That was amazing. Aaron just found a really amazing lot, so it would be really hard for him to strike lightning twice and get another amazing lot. Oh, wait. He did. Greetings, everybody! Sorry about my hair, for one. Still no barbers open in the area. I'm going to end up having to cut it myself. Uh... So, if you weren't listening to a uh, little wizard guy, Billy the Wizard over there, so, lightning does strike twice, it did strike twice, and Game Wizard is on, baby. Um, I'm gonna do another slow pan of the stuff that I just picked up. I will show you what I got, because it's a, it, it, as usual, is a lot. Um, anyway, so another, like, four or five hundred titles. Um, let's, let, let's get to it. Bow! So for the Wii, we got a bunch, there, there's a, there's, there's, there is some filler titles in here, but there's also some good titles in here, um, some Just Dances, Mario Party 8, Pokemon, Battle Revolution, Kirby Return to Dream Land, Mario Kart, Galaxy Resort, New Mario Wii, we got some Mario Kart 8s in there, uh, Mario Sports Mix, Mario Maker, uh, over here we have a bunch of Wii U titles. Uh, Minecraft, Yoshi's Woolly World, Wonderful 101, Wind Waker is in there. We also have a Super Smash Brothers! Woohoo! And then we got some more filler stuff in there. I mean, there's, there's some decent ones like Mario's and Sonic's and Monster Jam's Path to Destruction. Path of Destruction. Some Grand Theft Auto 5's. We got Star Control. Woohoo! We got this one. Uh, they also have... Some more fillers. We got a couple uh, Donkey... I don't know where the other Donkey... There's two Donkey Kongs, uh, Country Returns. They're in here. But my eyes are just playing tricks with me right now. And Donkey Kong looks very similar to Super Monkey Ball. And anyway, but there's two of those. There's another one in there somewhere. Uh, we got some games over there. Uh, in this bin, we have... I don't know. A bunch of Wii remotes, random accessories... Uh, I wish this was in here. This was not in there, but that's okay. Uh, we got, what is this? Little Big Planet 3. NCI oh, NCIS. Uh, solving Navy crimes, baby. Woo! Uh, let's see, what else did we get? We got probably a billion sensor bars. Uh, this is just a tub of cords and random accessories. But if you got Wii's like I do, I have a whole stack of Wii's up there that need attended to. So that's what that was for. Um, now we're going to move over here because we have not just an American 64, but we have a Japanese. That is a dating sim game. And you, you know that this is a Japanese 64 because when you pull it out, the pins aren't on. They're like a little towards the middle. Uh, and it's written in Japanese, obviously. And then if you open the system up, there is the Japanese pin reader. So that's that. So two 64s, two Nintendos. We got not one, but two Super Nintendos. We didn't just get a slim, a slim PS2, but we also got a GameCube. You thought I was going to say a fat PS2. No, I did not grab a fat PS2, although I probably should have. Um, hold on, guys. Hold on a sec. So here, now, now I want to point this out because a lot of you are going to say, oh, you're just re-showing the same stuff that you already got from the collection. No, look on the wall. All those NES games, all that stuff, that was the stuff that was from the last guy's collection. This was a completely separate lot. Now, let's get back to it. And you can tell this is a completely separate lot because the games in here aren't the same games from the other lot. Like this Final Fantasy 2, Contra 3, Mario World, Maximum Carnage, Mega Man X, not one but two all-star Mario Worlds, uh, Earthworm Jim 2. Donkey Kong's Out the Butthole, 1 and 3, Mario RPG, 
Dennis the Menace. Just to name a few. And we scroll up here. Now there will be a third lot I'm going to show you. It was a much smaller lot, or a little bit smaller lot. But I still feel it needs to be mentioned. We got Turtles, Star Tropics, uh, Mario Duck Hunt. Again, like I said, I'm, I'm doing a slow pan. You guys can see what you got. River City Ransom was in this lot. Mega Man 2, Contra, Dr. Mario on the 64 was in this lot. Uh, Captain America. We got another copy of uh, Gladi Global Gladiators, the, the McDonald's game. Fighting Vipers on the Sega Saturn was in here. That was a pretty cool one. Uh, we got two copies of Arcade. This here, this, this is a baby. It's not an amazing game, but it is factory sealed, a factory sealed NES game by Hal, by Hal uh, Laboratories, uh, or whatever they call themselves now. Uh, anyway, Defender 2, that was cool. This here was, I don't know if this is going to turn out to be anything. It's pole position, but if you look at the bottom, it was a misprint. It says pole position. There's no I. Or, or an O in position. So it's a misprint. Who shot Johnny Rock? We got My Paint, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, uh, Hetty, Maximum Carnage, there's a red card in there, Wii Sports, Columns, two copies of Fun and Games because you need those in your life, Art Alive, Champions, uh, Eternal Champions. We got uh, Battletech, Justice League, Family Feud, G Lock. There's a. Um, Jaguar game in here, pinball. Then we got some Dreamcast stuff, Ultimate, Ultimate Fighting. Uh, we got Quake 3, Spirit of Speed, Chicken Run, and then Trick Style. So I mean, just just your average run of the mill stuff. Then over here for PS for GameCube, we have a bunch of filler GameCube games. There's some halfway decent, you know, 3, 3DS stuff in there. Just All this was just to have because I didn't have any copies. I did get some San Andreas's in there. Um, this one's actually pretty pretty cool. It is a Champion's Return to Arms. That one's pretty cool. Had a $35 tag on that one. Obviously, I did not pay that. But And then we got all these. We got Fight Night Champion, uh, Soccer 20. We got Portal 2, Madden 17, Black Ops, Black Ops Combo, a bunch of copies of Kingdom Hearts because I always need Kingdom Hearts. So I grabbed a bunch of those. Um, and yeah, that that was pretty much it for that specific lot right there. Like, holy crap, it was a lot. And now I'm going to show you a lot that I picked up also yesterday. But this lot was way cheaper of a lot. But there are some cool stuff in there. So let's go take a look. Woo! Now this lot is only these four little small rows here. But it is worth mentioning. Uh, we got, let's see, Beautiful Katamario. Mark, Beautiful Katamari. I don't know why I said Mario. I was looking at Mario when I said that. We got Spider-Man, New Super Mario Brothers, Resident Evil Okami, another Resident Evil. Uh, Game of the Year Edition, Red Dead Redemption. That one's pretty cool. Mortal Kombat DC Universe. We have Family Guy on the PSP. Ton of ton of good PS2 games in here. We got Shadow of Rome, Colosseum, Blood Rain 2, Shadow of the Colossus, Ico, Inuasha, Inuasha. I didn't get Onimushi 1. I didn't get 2. I didn't get 3. But I also got Dawn of Dreams. I got all four of, the, of them on PS2. Um, three Mortal Kombats. We got Shalom Monks, Deception, Deadly Alliance, all the God of Wars, all the good stuff. Uh, then in here, a lot of the Xbox ones, I mean, there's some good ones like Mortal Kombat in there, uh, Kabuki, Hulk, stuff like that. Nothing too stellarly amazing. This right here is actually one of the better finds now because for some odd reason, this goes for money. You find a complete copy of this, I'll buy it off you. Okay, now here we get into the good stuff. We got Sword of Berserk. That's a good Dreamcast game. Alice Madness Returns. The Simpsons on the 360. Psychonauts on the PS2, Mint Complete. We also have Fatal Frame 3. Uh, I don't know if you guys are into these kind of games. A lot of scary stuff going on in here. Like a Silent Hill type thing. Fatal Frame 3. But with, with that, we also have Fatal Frames 1 and 2. So we got Fatal Frame 1, Fatal Frame 2, and Fatal Frame 3 all in the same lot. Last but not least, we got the GameCube stash for this lot. 
We have SpongeBob, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic Mega Collection, and Resident Evil. Resident Evil 4. Whew! That was a mouthful to get out. Um, again, lightning is not supposed to strike twice, but I've had so much good stuff from the last collection that I've been building up a little bit of a PayPal through all the sales, through eBay and in-person stuff. So I'm like, hey, I'll go try and see if I can find another collection. And sure enough, I found another collection. Uh, but anyway, this will conclude. This This is like a mini pickup video. I didn't want to make it too long. Didn't want to make it too short. Didn't want to, you know, add to the last one. I didn't want to make this like a part two of the last one because it's not a part two. It's a separate video. I don't know where all these games are coming from all of a sudden out of nowhere. But... Game Wizard is back on the map, and I want to thank all of you for supporting me all these years, all the ones of you that are still here. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time when I make a pickup video. Woo!